Jake Voskemper, Director of Agronomy Research here at Lift and Grow. And we're super excited what we're working on today. We're getting ready for spring and one of the changes we're making to our research strip till rig behind us is we are pu putting the Sentinel uh, row flow control system on this strip till rig. And with me to talk a little bit more about Sentinel is Mike with SurePoint Ag. Mike, can you tell the folks a little bit about why we're putting the Sentinel system on this strip till bar? Sure. So you're running suspensions, and suspensions yes. are dark, and that's probably the number one reason. So we and use, thick. And thick, right? <laughs> so we use uh, electromagnetic flow metering through here, and so suspensions uh, and uh, dark fluids don't matter, okay? There's no moving parts, and uh, so traditionally, you know, we use flow indicators like this, and with the dark fluid and the suspensions, we just can't see the, those balls moving. And so, and, and typically they're back on the planter farther too. And so you, you, through the dust and stuff, you can't see them. This is ISO. So we take this right up to the cab and it's on your monitor. So you're looking forward all the time, watching your fertilizer, making sure that each row is getting the correct amount put on. So Mike, not only is it convenient, much more convenient, it's going to let you know and alert you if there's a problem, which is important because if we have a row plug, we're losing yield, right? Correct. And we only have one shot at this thing. We want to make sure we're maximizing yield. Correct. So that's another reason why this is important, let alone for the convenience. Absolutely. So I'm excited to learn more about the Sentinel system. I'm going to have real world experience with it on my research equipment. Can't wait to tell you how it works out. And I might just also add that another reason I'm excited about it is this is one of the only systems on the market that I'm aware of that can actually monitor row by row flow of suspensions. So looking forward to telling you more about it. So the, we've had a good day today. We've got a lot done. We've got most of the, the, the SurePoint uh, liquid system plumbed today. Um, we do still have to get the, the you know, computers to communicate. We have to get some, get some, uh, um, some harnessing. Harnesses, thank you, Mike. We need yeah. some harnessing to make something compatible. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. We gotta get the hydraulic hoses run. Um, I'm sure there's some. We got a little bit more plumbing to do. So there's some. There's some things to get done yet, but we've got all the pieces in place to have to have a have a successful uh, couple days here getting this put together. You know what the a big difference in this system versus the traditional system is the the metering tubes. And I'll be honest, it was fairly confusing to me about what the metering tubes are all about. And now I get it. What this is? Metering tube. Yeah. 20 mesh, 80 mesh. <clears throat> so Mike, so we've got the Sentinel system and you know one thing I've had to learn with the Sentinel system is you don't use orifices, right? Mm -hmm. You use these metering tubes, which is a little bit of a new concept for me. So why don't you tell the folks, you know, why that works and what the metering tubes are all about? Sure. <clears throat> so we're we're pretty accustomed to using disc orifices in fertilizer. And I'm systems. always changing them. Sure. Always. So when you change <laughs> rates or you change speed, you got to change yeah, it. You got to go right. out there and physically yeah. change the yeah. orifice in most Kinda cases. Like to do. Yep. So our systems we use we don't use the disc orifice. We use metering tubes. A couple of reasons we do that. Number one, the hole size in this metering tube is bigger than the disc orifice. And that's important because sometimes in fertilizers we have, you know, in suspensions and things like that, we can get things that plug our filters or plug our disc orifices. And to be clear, with the suspensions, we're using these black and yellow metering tubes and they're a heck of a lot bigger than that, I can promise you. For the rates that you're gonna be at? Yes, yes. they are a lot bigger. So, and so really when it comes down to brass tacks, when you run our systems and our metering tubes, we run a 20 mesh strainer. And so if you run a disc orifice, a lot of them run about an 80 mesh strainer. So really you got to put them side by side to truly understand, you know, the difference between a 20 mesh and an 80 mesh. And so a lot less plugging uh, on the metering tubes. And uh, another benefit to these, when we double our speed or double our flow, we just a little more than double our pressure in the system. With disc orifices, when you double your speed, double your flow, then you basically quadruple your pressure. And so that's when you start getting, so you don't have that range, um, and that's when you start getting fittings coming apart, fertilizer on the planter, sure. things sure. like that. So this eliminates a lot of that too. Excellent. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.